Lecture 1. Introduction to Gravity Welcome, Students. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the realm of gravity. Gravity, as we know it, is a force that governs the motion of objects in the universe. Let's begin by looking at its historical significance. In the late 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton revolutionized our understanding of gravity with his law of universal gravitation. He proposed that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force that is proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This groundbreaking concept laid the foundation for our exploration of gravity. Lecture 2. Newtonian Mechanics and Gravity Now that we have a grasp of the basics, let's delve deeper into the connection between Newton's laws of motion and gravity. Newton's laws describe how objects move under the influence of forces, including gravity. We'll learn how to calculate gravitational force and acceleration, as well as explore gravitational fields and potential energy. By understanding these principles, we can explain the motion of celestial bodies and even objects here on Earth. Lecture 3. Celestial Mechanics Today, we'll turn our attention to celestial mechanics, which is the study of how gravity shapes the motion of celestial bodies. Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion provide us with valuable insights. Kepler's first law states that planets move in elliptical orbits around the Sun, with the Sun positioned at one of the foci of the ellipse. Kepler's second law tells us that planets sweep out equal areas in equal times, meaning they move faster when closer to the Sun. Finally, Kepler's third law relates the orbital period of a planet to its average distance from the Sun. These laws allow us to understand the dynamics of planetary motion within our solar system. Lecture 4. Newtonian Gravity in Action Let's explore the practical applications of Newtonian gravity. Have you ever wondered why we experience tides in the oceans? Gravity plays a significant role here. We'll delve into the forces responsible for ocean tides and how they vary throughout the day. Additionally, we'll dive into orbital mechanics and discover how satellites are placed in specific orbits around the Earth. We'll also discuss escape velocity, the minimum speed required for an object to break free from the Earth's gravitational pull. Lecture 5. Challenges to Newton's Theory In our exploration of gravity, we encounter challenges to Newton's theory. Despite its success, there were observational discrepancies that couldn't be explained by classical mechanics alone. One intriguing example is the Pioneer Anomaly, where the Pioneer spacecraft experienced unexpected deceleration in its trajectory. These anomalies paved the way for the development of a new theory that would revolutionize our understanding of gravity, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. We'll discuss the need for a new theory and introduce the concepts that Einstein introduced. Lecture 6. General Relativity. Concepts and Principles Today, we enter the realm of Einstein's general theory of relativity. It introduces a new way of understanding gravity by linking it to the curvature of spacetime. We'll explore the concept of the equivalence principle, which states that gravity is indistinguishable from acceleration. This principle leads to the realization that mass and energy distort the fabric of spacetime, creating what we perceive as gravity. We'll delve into the nature of spacetime and the role of the metric tensor in describing its curvature.